This is Sophie. She's a data engineer working for a large retail company with both brick and mortar and online shops. One thing Sophie loves about her job is that she's always getting to learn new things and solve complex problems. On the other hand, she can't deny that her job is often difficult and stressful. Let's take a look at a typical issue that she faces in her day-to-day -day work. Hi Sophie, the sales summary dashboard in Tableau looks off. Can you help? Can you be more specific about the issue? Yesterday the numbers looked normal, but today they look way off. Can you please fix it? It's really important. The analytics team uses several dashboards to monitor sales trends, which help them to plan sales and promos on their website. Without correct data powering their website, the company may incur loss of sales critical for meeting quarterly and annual sales targets. Data engineers need to be able to identify, prioritize, and resolve issues quickly. This is when the stress begins to mount. Sophie must first determine if a problem even exists, and then if it does, she has to figure out where the problem originated and how she can fix it. The dashboard in question is fed from multiple upstream data sources, each owned by different teams with different documentation that may or may not be accurate and up to date. She's going to have to work backwards to figure it all out, and she knows that this is going to eat up any free time she has today. With Starburst Galaxy, there is an easier way. We've designed our product with data engineers in mind, and we're continuing to make improvements and add features to make your jobs easier. Let's jump over to Starburst Galaxy to see how Sophie can use it to solve her dashboard issue. Let's start with some basic information about the data that we're working with here. The potentially troublesome dashboard is built off of three tables, sales, orders, and invoice total cost. The data that feeds these tables is stored in an S3 bucket. The sales table is the record of all sales for all orders for all time. The orders table is a subset of sales that is updated daily to include only invoices from the previous day. And the invoice total cost table provides the pre-tax, tax, and post-tax total for each invoice. Let's take a quick look at the dashboard in Tableau. Okay, so here's the Tableau dashboard that the analysts were having an issue with. And as I look at it, I do see some potential outliers here and then up here as well. But until I dig into the data, I really have no way to say what the actual issue is. So let's head on over to Starburst Galaxy and see what we can find. Now keep in mind that because this data is all in a data lake, it can be notoriously difficult to query it and make sense of it. Luckily, Galaxy is going to make this a lot easier, and I'll show you how. The first thing I'm going to do is check out the data quality for the invoice total cost table. The data profiling and quality feature in Galaxy allows you to easily view statistics and data quality information about a table or view. You can also create rules to monitor data quality. So what I need to do first is go to the catalogs pane, which I'm already there, but if you need to navigate there, all you have to do is click the catalogs in the left-hand menu right here. And then the catalog that I'm going to be using is data engineer demo. So I expand that. And then the schema I'm using is sales dashboard. So I'm going to expand that as well so that then I can find the table that I'm looking for. And here it is, the invoice total cost table. So I'll click on that to bring up more information. Now over here in the main panel, you can see uh, lots of different information about the invoice total cost table and different options here. But what I'm really interested in is the data quality. So let's click on that tab. Now you can see that I've already run data quality on this table in the past, um, but I'm just going to click the refresh button here to, re to rerun it. Okay, so my refresh is done, so let's take a look at the results. So if I go down to column profile, yikes. Now I can see that there definitely is a problem here. Uh, if you look at this not null versus null percentage, in the post-tax total, pre-tax total, and tax, we have only 70% not null. So that means that obviously 30% are null values. Um, and that shouldn't be because this table represents all orders that have already been placed. Um, so yeah, that should not be happening. So now we see that there is somewhat of an issue. And what I'm going to do next is investigate further by going to the lineage tab. Data lineage allows me to visualize data flow between tables, views, and materialized views in Galaxy. I just have to click the lineage tab here. And now I can see that upstream, this table is generated from the sales and orders table. And then if I click right here, I'm given the transformation information about the invoice total cost table, and I can see the SQL statement that was used to actually create the table. 
And then by looking at this statement, I can see that the columns that were used are invoice number, quantity, and unit price. So let's head over to the query editor to run a basic select on these and see if we find anything interesting. So I'll click on the query editor here. And let's just run a basic select. Okay, so here's my select and I'm gonna run it. Aha, and right away you can see here that the quantity column does have some null values. And this is again in the orders table, which was used to create the invoice total cost table. So that, that's a, probably where our problem was coming from. And now I'm recalling that the team responsible for these upstream tables made a recent data type change, which is probably what's causing the null values here. So let's just check that this issue exists in the invoice total cost table as well. Okay, so let's run that query. Okay, so this is going to show me how many null values we actually have. And this has 34 rows, so that means there are 34 null values. So it looks like that upstream change caused orders with only one item to be listed as null instead of a numeric integer of one, which then messed up the downstream tables. The good news is that this is an easy fix. I'm just gonna run some SQL to create a corrected version of the orders table, and then I'll use that table to create a corrected version of the invoice total cost table. Okay, so I've pasted in my queries. The first SQL statement that I'm going to run is the one to create the new orders table. So let's run that. Okay, that returned successfully. So I'm gonna just run a simple select from that orders corrected table just to make sure that everything looks okay now. Okay, and I'm gonna just look at the quantity column because that's where the issues were present before. And it looks fine right now, just from a quick glance. So now I'm going to create the invoice total cost corrected table. Okay, great, that finished. And now I'm going to just select from that table to make sure everything looks okay. Okay, great. Looks like we don't have any more null values. Now the final thing that Sophie has to do is just speak with the upstream team to notify them about this issue. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.